Okay, so what are we looking at here? Well, this is an equation of a line, and the technical term for that is called a linear equation. And to be even more precise about it, this uh, particular linear equation, or an equation of a line, happens to be in something called slope-intercept form. Okay, so some of you might know that as y equals mx plus b. But uh, this m right here, the number in front of the x, in this particular problem, it's 3. This is the slope, okay? So uh, that's what that 3 is. The 3 represents the slope in this particular equation. And the b is the y-intercept. So this uh, line here that we're going to be looking at has a y-intercept of 1. So this line is in y equals mx plus b form. And I want to see if you know how to graph this. And I'm talking about a quick sketch don't feel uh, the need to um, get any graphing paper. Of course, if you have graphing paper, that's great. But even when you're doing a sketch of things, you want to be as neat and uh, precise as possible and try to keep things in scale. But uh, knowing how to graph lines is absolutely critical in algebra. Okay, So if you're at the probably at least at the pre-algebra level uh, or beyond, uh, you should know how to graph lines. And even if you know how to graph lines, you're like, yeah, yeah, I remember how to do that. Well, listen. Uh, you don't truly master a skill unless you practice it. So, hey, if you know how to do it, go ahead and take, this will take you literally all of about 17 seconds to graph, okay? It's not that difficult, but uh, if you forgot how to do it, stick around for a couple minutes and we're going to review exactly how to graph lines in slope-intercept form. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link uh, to my math help program in the description of this video. But um, if you are struggling in mathematics for whatever reason, okay, maybe you don't think you're good in math, I'm here to tell you that uh, that is not true. Okay, You can be very, very good in math, but you have to start believing that, and you got to be willing to put in the work. But beyond that, you're going to need the right instruction as well. Maybe you don't feel like you're getting enough instruction in school. Uh, maybe you're not connected to your teacher's teaching style. Well, listen, I can help you out. I've been teaching math for decades, and um, uh, the kind of the my style, okay, or my teaching style, is to break things down in their smallest little bite-sized pieces in a super clear and understandable manner. Okay, that way anyone can kind of learn math one little component at a time. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you with your respective math courses. Now, um, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACE, or CLIP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have excellent homeschool math courses and a full, complete curriculum program that uh, I think you'd be very interested in. And if you don't have any math notes, uh, don't worry, you can use mine. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But if you want great grades in math, you have to learn how to take your own individual great math notes. This is a absolute must-know uh, skill. Okay, and note-taking it uh, by itself, in and of itself, is a skill. So this is again something you have to practice on a daily basis. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the problem here. So we have y equals 3x plus 1. So uh, go ahead and give me a quick sketch. Uh, of this. Now, <clears throat> there's some other ways you could graph this problem, but that doesn't make s uh, sense to uh, graph this using, let's say, the x, y intercepts, uh, because this, uh, this particular uh, line or linear equation is set up in this lovely y equals mx plus b. And this is probably the most common form uh, to graph this line. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it now. And if you're not ready uh, to see the pro, uh, the solution, okay, to see the actual graph, then pause the video. But I'm going to go ahead and graph it right now. Okay. All right. So here we have y equals 3x plus 1. So what is the kind of procedure to graph a line that's in slope-intercept form? Well, first of all, let's just make sure. Okay. Let's go back to this format. We have to recognize, okay, and hopefully you recognize that this line, the way it's written, this equation is in this form. Okay, you're like, okay, there's a y by itself. There's a y by itself here. There's an equal sign. Okay, I got an equal sign. There's a number in front of an x. Okay, that happens to be 
M. Okay, there's a number in front of that X. In this case, it's three. And then we have plus a number. This is plus B. So yeah, the first thing is you got to be like, okay, this does fit this format. Okay, this is the same format. So being that that's the case, three, okay, M is my three. That's my slope. All right. And then this one is my B. And B is the, um, the variable. Uh, B is equal to 1, but it's kind of weird that they use this B, but that really is what we call the Y-intercept. So let's go ahead and start off with uh, uh, the Y-intercept. So when you're graphing a line in slope-intercept form, you always start with the Y-intercept. Okay. So in this case, it's 1. So what does that mean, Y-intercept? Well, it's where the line crosses or intercepts the y-axis. So here's the y-axis, and it intercepts at 1. So all we need to do is just go to 1, literally 1, on the y-axis, and that is a point that's going to be on this line. So let's plot a point right there at um, 1 on the y-axis. So that's, boom, that's our first uh, part of doing... Um, of graphing this line. Now, if you think about it, how many points do we need to graph a line? Well, if I have one point that's on the line here and another point uh, that I know that's on that line, then I'm like, oh, well, then I can just graph the line. You just need two points. So in this case, I just found one point. Now, I need this. I need a second point. How can I get to a second point that's on this line? Well, that's where the slope comes in, okay? The slope all right, when it comes to these uh, particular problems, is like driving directions, okay? It's a direction uh, to your second point, okay? So it's like, hmm, what are you talking about directions to get to the second point? Well, the slope is, is the rise over the run. Now, you need to know a lot about the slope, but effectively, it's when we're talking about a line, the rise is how much a line goes up, and the run is how much it goes to the right, okay? So when we're looking at the slope, it's always a fraction. All right, in this case, it's 3. So we have 3 or 3 over 1. So the, this, uh, the 3 on top is the rise. Okay, this is the rise. And the 1 on the bottom is uh, the run. Okay, so that's what the slope represents right here. But let's just kind of see it graphically. It's saying that this line rises up 3 for every 1 it runs out. Okay, so there's a lot more you need to know about the slope, but let's just kind of contain it within this problem, right? So for this line, it goes up three for every one it goes out. So in other words, the line has this kind of angle to it, all right? So for every three it goes up, it runs out one, okay? So we can use that uh, ratio here, the slope. We're like, okay, so we'll start at one, and then we're going to uh, use the slope three, and we're going to count up three, so starting from one, so it's going to be one, two, three. What does that put us at? Well, this is one, two, three. So this, but this, the actual points is two, uh, three, four. Okay. So, but we went up three, one, two, three, and over one. This is our second point. Okay. Now the coordinate of that second point is what? One, and this is one, two, three, four. Okay. And this point right here is located at what? X is zero, Y is one, all right? But here is our lovely two points, and now we can just go ahead and draw our line right through those two points, and there is the line that represents this linear equation, okay? All right, so hopefully this makes sense. You're gonna, um, you know, kind of quickly went through the slope. You need to understand this a lot about the slope, but this is a, just a quick review on how to graph a linear equation. So if you don't understand um, this, you know, if you're not quite sure about all this, uh, I have tons of videos on the slope on my YouTube channel, my pre-algebra and algebra playlist. Of course, I teach this thoroughly in my algebra courses, but if you knew everything about this, you're like, yeah, I got this down, this is super easy, and I could find these two coordinates and you knew precisely what I was talking about, then I must go ahead and reward you with a nice happy face with a good old 1981 Mohawk, an A plus and 100% outstanding, okay, good work. Now, remember, if you kind of are like uh, of the mindset that like, I know how to do this, but I really don't want to be bothered, well, 
that's not good, okay? You need to practice mathematics, even if you know something. One of the worst things that can happen to, or does happen to math students that are capable is the following, all right? Here is your homework, right? And you have problems one through 20. And you start doing problem number one, and number two, and number three, and number four. You're like, you know what? I'm getting all of these right. Uh, so what is the point for me to do the rest of these problems? It's just a waste of my time because apparently I know what I'm doing because I'm getting you know some of these problems correct. Well, that's wrong, 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 okay? First of all, these problems down here are likely going to be more challenging than these initial problems. That's number one. Number two, like anything, math is a skill. Or you don't like go practice basketball by like, oh, hey, look at I'm shooting the basketball. I made, uh, you know, uh, I was, you know, able to, you know, make the uh, basket, you know, three times in a row. That means I must be able to do it every single time. Obviously, that's not the case. Uh, math is no different. So you have to practice, listen to your teacher, go through all, you know, go through and, you know, uh, don't uh, not do do, I'm kind of stumbling on my words here, well, I guess what I'm trying to say in simple English terms is do all the practice problems, okay, because the more practice, the better, and that was the whole point of this video. All right, but uh, again, if you didn't know what you were doing here, but you learned something, then that's the whole point, okay, so if you, hey, if you got it right, that's great, but if you didn't get it right, that's feedback as well, so hopefully, Either way, you'll say, you know what, this was a good enough video for me to smash that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, um, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos on my channel, basic math through calculus and everything in between. So again, I'm very passionate about helping all of you out there that really have the desire uh, to want to do good in math, you know, to learn math. You have to, uh, look, that's one thing your teacher will never be able to give you. You, you have to want to do this okay if you can see yourself mentally um, learning you will be able to learn but you got to connect with the you know, the right instruction so if you like my teaching style please take advantage of all these videos that i've made through the years and will continue to make but my best math help will always be within my math help program okay so with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures thank you for your time and have a great day